Hello and welcome one last time to room 101. It's the one that we've all been waiting for, the showdown. Two students remain and one grand prize up for grabs. Who's going to win it? It's anyone to guess. I have to admit, I'll almost be a little sad to have reached the end of this wonderful series. <laughs> Ethan, KM, this is it. The moment of truth. Ready, get set, go! I'm just kidding. Now to give you a taste of life after Room 101, your first challenge will take place outside. And because I know you will need all the help you can get, I've enlisted a few old friends to help you out. So let's see who has what it takes to be top of the class. All right, call it. Tails. Here we go. Heads it is. The loser goes first. Ethan, you're it. Okay, get out. Ethan has been winning like a million challenges so far, and I've not been winning any challenges, so I'm pretty much like the underdog. Well, now that I'm so close to the finish line, it's do or die. Like, I really, really want to win this. I won that prize so bad. It would suck to get this far and lose. So, Ethan better watch his back. Huh? So, Ethan. Are we ready? Bring it on. Your first clue is... Hurry up. Your time starts now. It's a canteen, isn't it? Off you go then. Smart boy, that one. Well, when I saw Madam Tan take the curry puff out of the cup, immediately I figured out canteen and I legged it all the way to the canteen. It was pretty straightforward. Your turn now, eh, Kim? First clue is... Mm. And your time starts now. Curry puff. Pastry. Bite. Lick. I really do not know what she was doing. So I was like, what is that? Bakery. Chunky. I do believe we have plenty Our of time. Canteen. Off you go then! So I got to the canteen and there was a plate of curry puffs and I could see some words screw on the plate. So I tossed all the curry puffs away and furiously trying to read it. Doopity bopty boo, dipity dopty doo, slapity bapty bee, fripty popty goo. Time is sticking by and here I am starting today. Well, most of the crew didn't make sense, but the, the part that was meant to make sense was... You and your team must journey to the realm of LeBron James, which is like this freaking famous NBA basketball player. And it just click. Okay, basketball court. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. We got to the basketball court, we saw this giant map laid out. A couple of flags and some goggles and things. Match the flag to the correct country, the city. When we are finished, the leader, me, will return to room 101 alone. Ding dong, ding dong, I am the warren. So basically what we had to do for the activity was to match the flags that we had to the map. I picked up one called Minx. Alright, guys, once you get yours in, make sure that you help, you help each other. What happened? So we start the challenge, we were bombarded by water bombs, volleyballs, footballs, lots and lots of balls. One thing we want to concentrate on where to put the flag, and then the other thing was to run away from all these water bombs. It was really crazy. The map is like freaking huge and there's millions of cities. I'm pretty much okay with the fashion cities like Tokyo and Paris and Milan, um, not Timbuktu. Holy shit! When I go back to room 101, I saw the walls plastered with numbers. And the first thing I thought was like a psycho horror thriller movie and there's a guy sitting in a padded cell, you know, writing messages on the walls and it kind of looked like that. Hello, Kim. I must fill in the blanks in the equation using the right post-it from the wall. Once I get the right answer, the clock will stop. I must do it faster than the other guy or I will not win. If I do not win, I am a gimp. I do not wish to be a gimp. What is a gimp? Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. And let's play a little bit of bingo! Let's see. 
first number, seven, five. Seven, five. Seven, on. Six equals. Then 11 plus 5 11 plus 5 is 16 I was trying to concentrate to do the equation And at the same time having Madam Tan shout out random numbers Just to make a lot of noise And our next number is number 2 Single digit number 2 You try and focus on every individual piece to see if it's what you want And sometimes it's close I've seen 23 at least 3 or 4 times 22. Next up, 3, 0. Amazing. Minus 44 okay. equals something. 5. So Damn! It's so difficult to concentrate. And all the numbers look the same after a while. You're like, scribbly, 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 scribbly. 8, 59. How are we feeling about 59, KM? Okay, the number for you, 59. I feel it's pretty good, no? 59. I have no idea. 22 plus 10, 32. Well, I said 23 on that one. Oh, naughty number 69. 69. Carrying on. Number. We have a 30. 4 0. 22, got it. 4 0. And the next number we have. Not too far. Not too far away. 44. At that point of time, I felt like trying to like reach out to her pink hair and just pull her pink hair. Right there. 22. 110. 212 10 divided by 110 can be divided by 3 120 120 In the time that I played room 101 everything else uh, no big deal Hell I put my hand in the tank full of cockroaches I'm cool with that But this is the only time I really felt like the room was going to make me mad 113 75 120 90 90 everybody 90 Ticking tick tick 92 minus 20 72 Two more, Ethan, two more. Nine times five. One zero one. Oh, I need 101. One. Double is not. Zero one. When I finally found a number, it's one of the best feelings in the world. Like, yes, my f I got you. Come to me. I mean, bam. I'm pretty much confident that I can seal the deal. How wonderful to see all of you. The class is getting a little bit crowded right now, but lovely to have a reunion with you all. Well, I have to say, boy, last two standing in room 101, it was a very, very close race. So, do we want to know who is the champion of room 101? Top of the class, might I add. And... Ethan! You are not it. Okay, darling. <laughs> I know you've never seen one of these, yeah? The feeling that I have right now is like being crowned as Miss Universe. Where's my crown? Where's my crown? Class of Room 101! <laughs> That went pretty well. Now I'm very sure that we prepared our students for just about anything the world could possibly throw at them. Another day at PSB Academy. Time for me to head off for that promotion. Ta-ta.